Did you know you can install all your apps and all your games on an external Mac SSD? I'm going to show you how. Let's get into it. All right, welcome back. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Check out my 280 videos before this. And if you've seen my videos, you know what's coming. I'm gonna give you a quick tip. And now this one's gonna be fast, I promise you. I always say that, but um, I promise this time. Let's, let's hope. <laughs> Anyways, if you have a Mac computer, like the one behind me, an iMac, or if you actually have a MacBook Pro over there, this is an IBM, but it's over there. Um, what I'm gonna show you today is if you have an application or a game, you can actually move that directly to an external SSD drive. And a lot of people don't know that. They think you can only move data. And they, they, they're like, I didn't know I could move my actual applications and my, my games over to that. Well, you can, and it's super, super simple. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm also gonna show you really quickly how expensive Apple storage is and why I would never go with more than like five, 12 gig, you know, gigabytes on it. Because if you're getting a uh, MacBook Pro, 512 is plenty for your core applications and maybe you know if you're a video editor, your primary files you're working on. And then you can move your other apps that you, you don't use that often over to the external SSD drive. They make tons of tiny little SSD drives. I have a ton of videos on those. Check out my, you know, my channel prior to this. But long story short, you can put, just hook those up and I'm gonna show you how to get these, you know, move some applications right over to it. And then you just basically plug that in. Not only that, the beauty is you can actually have them in the dock just like your other apps and everything. You just have to obviously have that SSD plugged in. Um, so it, it can be a little bit cumbersome, but I mean, realistically, you know, apps that you don't use that often, you just plug it in. If you're at the coffee shop, you know, the SSD is this big. Is it really worth, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars where you can almost buy two MacBook Pros for the cost of upgrading the storage? I think not. <laughs> so let's get into it. I'm going to show you what this is all about. Hopefully you guys can uh, watch my other videos and help me grow the channel. All right, just for starters, let's say you're going to be buying a new MacBook Pro. This is the M1 model. Let's just say it's a, you know, you're looking for a cheaper model and you want it the 13 inch. You go down here and let's go ahead and select this one. This is going to just be the base model M1. So, you know, what I recommend doing is, you know, this is 256. This might even be enough with what I'm going to teach you. But if you scroll down here and you can see, you know, adding another, you know, what is it? Another 256 is $200 adding another, you know, going up to a terabyte, which is really adding 750 is 380. And then going up to here, which is two terabytes, which is only about 1.5 terabytes you're adding, or I guess 1.75, I'm sorry. But that's still $740. You can buy like almost a Mac, you can buy a Mac mini, um, <laughs> the base Mac mini for that cost, just for adding that storage. So that's what I wanted to show you. So I would always go with like you know, 256 or 512, and then I would do this little tip that I'm gonna show you here. So let me just show you how to add your apps and your games um, to an external SSD drive, and it takes, I mean, literally an extra couple, you know, one minute to, to learn. So we'll get into this, and let me just show you that. All right, I'm gonna show you how to do this. Don't blink, because it takes two seconds. I'm just kidding, I'm gonna set this up first. This is a Kexen, it's called Kexen. It's a Kexen external SSD drive. Check out my last video, I did a review of this. It's a tiny little external SSD, That not that that's important, but it's a 256 gigabytes, and it's about 480 megabytes per second. That's just an external drive, so let's drag that over there for now, that's the external. So all you have to do to get this to work, it's super simple, is you click on Finder in, in, on your Mac, Go to Applications really quickly, and then choose the app you want to move over. Um, we'll actually copy it over, then we can do something to delete it. But I'll show you anything that you want to get on that external drive so you can boot off this drive over here, which is and save a ton of space. So what you want to do is you, you know, just go in here and let's just find an app that we don't, you know, we don't use that often or whatever, like this handy calculator. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and all you do, now don't stay with me. Let's open up this window, the Kexen drive over here, just like that. Like let's position this so you can see everything. This is crazy. <laughs> Click on it, hold it, move it, and drag it over here, just like that. And it copied it. Um, some things take a second to verify. This is super small, one megabyte, but it took two seconds. Now it's over here. It's actually bootable off that drive. If you want to get rid of it from over here, you can do that. But you, what you have to do is you just have to like right click on it. You can move that to trash, and that's off your main computer now. So that's done. Let's just close that. So now you, I, I didn't actually do that yet, but but you can do that. Now you have it on here, and this is a handy calculator. So if I go ahead and I double click on this. Um, look at that. It launched and it's launched off the external drive and like I said I could have removed it from my main drive and it would work just fine. So there you go. Super simple. Now the one question I have is how do you get back into this? You know, do you, is it on the dock or not really, but what you can do is you can get it on the dock. So down here obviously it's down here because it is open. So you can see it's got the little dot and everything. All you have to do is just right click on it, go to options and then keep in dock. And then if you keep it in dock, what happens is if you come down here when everything's closed and you click on it, 
it'll actually launch off the external drive if the external drive is you know, still plugged in. So you have to have it plugged in, obviously. You can't just mysteriously go through the air or anything like that, obviously. Um, anyways, you get the idea. You can do this with games, with uh, any applications. It's super simple and hopefully not too complicated because if you can't do this, then I think it's time to go back to books and get away from computers. So, all right, I'm just kidding. Um, anyways, there you go. It's the Kexen, um, but it can be any external drive. Just make sure it's fast enough, at least maybe around 500 megabytes per second, somewhere in there. Um, obviously, the Mac drives are so fast now, it makes a difference. But long story short, easy to do. This is a couple like 30, 40 bucks versus spending hundreds. Hope it saved you some time and some money. All right, so what did you think? Now, how easy can that be? That's one of the easiest things I've ever seen. You basically just drag it and drop it right onto there and it'll load everything over into that actual external SSD drive. Saves you a lot of space this way and uh, you can boot right back into it at any time. You can actually move it into the dock. So it's very easy to, to uh, do this and a lot of people don't even realize it's available. I think you can only do data. And uh, I just wanted to show people you can do apps and you can do games and there's not a huge reason to buy these massively expensive. You know, Sometimes the data costs more than the drive itself. And that's just a no-no. I mean, I, I just, you know, I just can't do that. I can't stomach it. So anyways, I hope this helps out. Definitely check out my channel. I make, like I said, videos all the time. I have 280 technical videos and reviews and how-tos and apples and some PCs and Chromebooks and you name it. So check out my channel if you can. I will talk to you soon. I appreciate the support. Peace.